everybody it's Teresa welcome to my channel I've got the teeny tiny beads out again <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make a netted tubular netted bracelet today I made one on a video several videos ago and I used six millimeter beads fire polish beads in it and some six millimeter round beads and uh, I showed some examples at the beginning of it and this was one of them and I was showing where you can use uh, you can mix up the round beads with uh, two whole beads like super duos and these are four millimeter bicones and then uh, super duos uh, I know it's hard to see them though it's a purple bicone and then a purple shade of the super duo and I had a lady send me a message and asked me if I would do one like this showing how you can go back and forth with the round beads and the super duos and of course I don't mind at all um, I have got these are uh, Potomac beads check faceted round jade four millimeters I got these uh, when I was subscribed to their subscription box uh, years ago and my super duos are bronze pale gold crystal bronze pale gold and the super duo is a two 2.5 by 5 millimeter bead and uh, I, I know I'm getting smaller with the beads here but I I can't really use a six millimeter with the super duos because the size is there's just too much difference in the sizes I don't think it would look right so I'm going to try to use the four millimeters today and hope you all can still see what I'm doing I've got some Miyuki metallic dark bronze 11 O's that I'm going to use for my crossover bead and I've got some Duracoat Galvanized Champagne 15 O's. Yeah, I know, 15 O's. <laughs> that I'm going to use for the netting part. Uh, I just, I like the look of the 15 O's with the 4 millimeter beads better. But I'll show you when I get started here. You can do different kinds of beads uh, in different numbers. I'll show you, show you as I get along here. And I'll link that other video up in the corner of this video and in the description box below in case you want to go back and look at it the one where I did it with the six millimeter beads uh, I've got a my eight pound fire line and smoke here I've got a magnetic clasp and a couple of wire guards and a couple of jump rings and the one I did on video a few weeks ago I used a magnetic clasp and that I used one on this uh, I just like the round when I do any of these tubular designs I usually like to do the round magnetic clasp I just think it looks better I guess uh, but I had a lady ask me where I got the one I used in the video a few weeks ago and I'm certain I got it on eBay I got a bunch of them on eBay but it was many many years ago and I went back through my purchase history but I can't find it now I guess maybe that seller has you know not selling them anymore maybe but you can just uh, go on eBay or anywhere and look for magnetic clasps and they'll come up I'm, I think I'm positive I got these from China so it took like you know two months to get them but <laughs> I think this is probably I don't know if it's an eight millimeter or a ten millimeter I'm not sure but uh that's where I got that I've got a couple of tulip size 11 beading needles here of course I'm not going to be using two but I always have an extra one because I'm very likely to drop it one and not be able to find it <laughs> I've got my scissors to cut my fire line and I, I've mentioned before it's a good idea to have an extra pair of scissors Maybe a little cheap pair of scissors to cut your fire line with because they'll dull it'll dull your good scissors. And all I have for tools are my chain nose pliers and my bent chain nose pliers to put my clasp on at the end and, and then I use the chain nose pliers to flatten my thread at the end so I can get it through the needle. I've already got my needle threaded here with the stop bead on the end of it. So I think that's everything. Let me get some of this out of the way and pour out some of my beads and I'll be back. Okay, I've got some of my beads poured out here and I'm gonna start. I I'm going to try to zoom in close and hope y'all can see what I'm doing. You probably will have a hard time, especially at first, because the hardest part of bead weaving is when you first start because you don't have much to hold on to. But I'm going to try to do my best so that y'all can see what I'm doing. Uh, and I thought you might be wondering why I had these in this uh, tube instead of like the, the ones like these. Uh, I buy uh, these. I, I like this color and I buy them in very large quantities because I use a lot of them so I take them I, they come in baggies so I put them in my own little tubes <laughs> so I've got my needle threaded here and I've got a stop bead on the end of it 
and I've left about a 10 or 12 inch tail because I'm going to go back and use that to put my clasp on when I'm done. So, see how zoomed in I can get without it blurring. I'm going to pick up one of my 4 millimeter beads, one of my 4 millimeter round beads, one of my bronze 11 0 beads. That's going to be my crossover bead. Another 4 millimeter bead, another bronze bead, another 4 millimeter bead, and another bronze bead. So I've got three 4 millimeter beads and three 11 0s. I'll bring all that down to the end of my thread, down here where my stop bead is. I'm going to go back through all these again. Go back through that first one. And that brings it into a little circle there. And now I'm going to go back through it an, another time or two. I'm not going to have to sew back through these as many times as I did that those the other day. I had to reinforce those several times every time. But you don't have to do that as much with the 4 millimeter beads. They they don't get as loose as those bigger beads do so I am going to go back through them at least once every time but not as many times as I did with those bigger beads I was using the other day try to keep my stop bead out of the way and just keep going through the all the beads until it gets as tight as you feel like it should be Okay, now I want to come out one of my crossover beads, so I'm going to come out one of my 11 O's here, my, my 11 O here. Now, I'm going to pick up, for my netting, I'm going to pick up three of my tiny little 15 O's, one of my 11 O's, and three of my tiny little 15 O's. And that's what I've got there. 315 O's, an 11 O, and 315 O's. I'm coming out of this bronze 11 O. I'm going to go around this bead and go in this bronze 11 O. And that's going to cup around that little 4 millimeter bead there. Now you can use whatever beads here you want to. Like I said in that other one, you, you can use 11 O, all 11 O's if you want to. You can use maybe a couple of 11 O's and a 8 O and a couple of 11 O's. If you're using toe hose, toe, toe hose are a little bit bigger than Miyuki, so you might have to adjust your number here. Whatever your number here is, though, you just need it to be an odd number because you need to have a center bead to be your crossover bead. And it's helpful if your center bead is, your crossover bead is a different size and a different color. I mean, it doesn't have to be. But, like, if you use all 11 O's, maybe you could use a different color for your crossover bead. Or you can do them all the same color if you want to. You just have to be careful to watch where your stopover bead is. I just like the way the 15 O's look around the 4 millimeters. So, I'm going to do that all the way around. I'm going to pick up three 15 O's, an 11 O, and three 15 O's. I'm going to go from the 11 I'm coming out of to the next 11 around this speed here, around this 4 millimeter bead. And I want to keep good tension on it and keep it pulled tight so that it'll, it won't get loose. Try to keep my little tail out of the way here. Now I'm going to do that again. I'm going to pick up three 15 O's. An 11 O. And three 15 O's. I got on my needle. I'm going to go from the 11 O I'm coming out of 
to the next 11 0 on the other side of this four millimeter and that's the the 11 I'll start it in on this round Okay, pull it tight. Now that's what I got. So now I'm going to step up. And all that is, is I'm going to go up through these three 15 O's that's right above the bead I'm coming out of and into that 11 O. That's my crossover bead. And now I'm going to, I'm going to cut my little netting up here because I need to get this into a tubular shape. I'm going to cup it up there and now I'm going to put my super duos in and I'm really afraid this is going to be hard for y'all to see <laughs> especially here at first I'm going to pick up a super duo and when you when you use super duos or any two hole beads you want to look as you go and make sure both the holes are are uh, open sometimes you can get one that uh, the hole is closed maybe some of the paint has got in there and clogged up the hole and it's a real bummer when you get all the way around to the next round and then see that your your other hole is clogged up and then you have to go back and take it out so it's a good idea to look as you go uh, so I'm gonna go from coming out of this 11 0 I'm gonna go into I'm gonna jump over here and go into this 11 0 in the middle of at the peak of my netting here I can zoom in a little more. I'm afraid if I get too zoomed in, you won't be able to see it either. Pull it through. And now I'm going to pick up another Super Duo. Check and make sure the hole's open. Now I'm going to jump from this 11-0 over here to the 11 at the peak of this netting. Pull my thread through. You gotta watch these little super duos, they'll try to flip over on you. So now I'm gonna pick up another super duo. Check my hole. And now I'm gonna go from the 11 0 I'm coming out to the next 11 0, which is the first 11 0 I started in on this round. Get my needle in there. Come on now. There we go. So that's what I got now. Got three little super duos in there. Now I'm going to go around this again. I'm just going to go through the same hole of the super duo. I'm going to go through my, all my super duos and all my 11 O's one more time to tighten things up. And when I get Done, I want to come out of a super duo. So I'm going to come out of this super duo right here. Now I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to jump up here into this hole of this super duo, or the second hole of the super duo I'm coming out of. Now that's going to expose a little bit of thread there on the outside of your super duo, but by the time you get your bracelet done you're not going to see that uh, the only reason you can see it now is because I'm so zoomed in uh, when you got, get your bracelet done and you're wearing it nobody is going to see that little piece of thread there so um, now I'm going to pick up one of my crossover beads one of my bronze beads and I'm going to go through the the second hole the hole of the super duo I hadn't come through yet all the way around I'm going to put one of these little crossover beads in between all of my super duos the second hole that I hadn't been through yet just make sure it pops there pops in between your super duos there and now I'm going to go around this just one more time just to tighten everything up 
Just the Super Duos and the 11 O's. And then I'll, on this round, I want to come out an 11 O. The only time you need to come out the Super Duo is when you're on that first side of your Super Duo because you need to get up to the second side of your Super Duo. So I'm going to come out one of my 11 O's. And now I'm going to do my netting again. And this is going to alternate the way you sew. One round you'll be sewing this way and the other round you'll be sewing this way. I'm going to pick up three uh, 15 O's. One of my 11 O's. And three 15 O's. I'm going to go from this. I'm coming out this side of this 11 O. I'm going to go into the 11 O on the other side of the Super Duo there. And I'm going to pull my thread through. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick up three 15 O's. One of my 11 O's. And three 15 O's. And I'm going to go from, from this 11 O, jump over the Super, super Duo, and go into the next 11 O. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick up three 15 O's. One 11 O. Three 15 O's. I'm going to go from this 11 O I'm coming out of to the next 11 O on the other side of this Super Duo, which is the 11 O I started in on this round. Now I'm going to step up. So I'm I'm coming out of this bronze 11 over here. I'm going to go up through these three 15 O's right above it. And I'm going to come out my 11 O right at the peak here, the peak of my knitting. Now this time I'm going to do my round beads. So I'm going to pick up a four millimeter. This might look even better if you use three millimeters, but I didn't want to get that small on y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up one of my four millimeters. I'm going to find my crossover bead, my bronze bead here. And I'm going to go through it. And I'm just going to do that all the way around. I'm going to pick up a four millimeter. Go from this crossover bead to the crossover bead the top of this peak pick up another four millimeter go from this crossover bead to the crossover bead in the next peak which is the one I started in on this round now I'm going to go around all that one more time just reinforce it tighten it up come out of a an 11 out one of my crossover beads now I'm going to pick up my netting again I'm going to do three more three 15 O's an 11 O three 15 O's now I'm going to go from this bronze bead that I'm coming out of jump over the my four millimeter and go into the next bronze crossover bead and that makes that little cup around my bead i'm gonna do that all the way around pick up three 15 o's and 11 o and three 15 o's i'm gonna go from this this bronze bead 
into this bronze bead on the other side of that four millimeter. And do that again. I'll pick up three 15 O's and 11 O and three 15 O's. I'm going to go from this bronze bead into this bronze bead on the other side of this four millimeter, which is the same bead I started in this round. And now I'm going to step up. Coming out of this bronze bead, I'm going to go up these three 15 O's right above that bronze bead I'm coming out of. And if I can at the same time, I'm going to get through that 11 O there at the peak. Now I'm going to do my soup around my super duos. I want to pick up a super duo, check the hole. I'm going to go from this bronze at the top peak of this netting to the bronze at the peak of this netting. I'm going to pick up another super duo. I'm going to go from the bronze. But I'm coming out of to the bronze at the peak of this knitting. Now pull tight and keep everything tight. Pick up another super duo. Go from this bronze to this bronze at the top of this knitting, which is the bronze I started in on this round. And now I'm going to go around all the super duos and all the 11 O's again through the same hole that I went through the first time just to reinforce everything. And when I get done, I want to be coming out of a super duo. It's the only time you, all the other times you're coming out of your crossover bead, but uh, I think I got through a 15 over there when I shouldn't have. Yeah. That's what happens with these little tiny beads? You got to be careful. Hold on, I'll, I'll take this out and I'll be back. Okay, turns out I panicked for no reason. I thought <laughs> I thought my thread was through one of them 50 notes when it shouldn't have been, but it wouldn't. So I'm just going through all the super duos, the same hole that I came around them in the first time, and all the 11 nose. And I'm going to come out of a super duo. And now I'm just going to flip it around and I'm going to pop back up into the top of the second hole of the Super Duo, the one I hadn't been through yet. And now I'm going to put one of my crossover beads, one of my 11 O's, in between these holes of the Super Duo's that I hadn't been through yet. And I'm just going to go, go around those one more time to tighten everything up. And I'm going to want to come out of a, an 11 0 this time. Because I'm going to start my netting again, and I want to come out of an 11 when I'm starting my netting. So I'm going to do three 15 O's and 11 O and three 15 O's. I'm going to go from this bronze bead that I'm coming out of right here, cross over this jump over this super duo and go into the next bronze bead. Now I'm going to pick up three 15 O's and 11 O and three 15 O's and I'm going to go from the bronze bead I'm coming out of and jump over that super duo and go into the next bronze bead. pick up three 15 O's and 11 O and three 15 O's I'm going to 
going from this bronze bead I'm going to go into this, this bronze bead which is the one I started in on this round and I'm going to step up I'm going to go up through all my three, my three little 15 O's there and come out the 11 O at the top of the peak now I'm going to do my round beads so I'm going to pick up a 4 millimeter I'm going to go from this bronze 15 I'm coming out of to the next bronze 15 at the peak of the, my netting. Pick up another 4mm. Go from this bronze bead to the bronze bead at the peak of my netting. Pick up another 4mm. Go from this bronze bead to the next bronze bead at the peak of my netting, which is the one I started in this round. And then I'm going to go around all of them again to tighten them up. Just going through the, all the 4 millimeter beads and all the 11 O's. And I want to come out of an 11 O when I'm done. Because you always have to come out of your crossover bead to start your netting. So that's what I got so far. So now I'm going to pick up three 15 O's, an 11 O, and three 15 O's. I'm going to go from this bronze bead. Skip over my 4 millimeter and go into the next bronze bead. Pick up three 15 O's. An 11 O. And three 15 O's. Go from this bronze bead. Skip over this 4 millimeter and go into the next bronze bead. Three fifteen O's, an eleven O, three fifteen O's. I'm gonna go from the eleven O I'm coming out of to the next eleven O on the other side of that bead, which is the eleven O I started in in this round, and I don't want to go through my fifteen O's yet. I mean, you can if you can get out through all them at once. Now I'm going to step up. I'm going to go up through these three 15 O's and the, eight, uh, the 11 O at the top of the peak. And pull it, pull it all tight. Now I'm going to do a round of my super duos. I'm going to pick up a super duo. I'm going to go from the 11 O at the peak of this netting to the 11 O at the peak of this netting. Pick up another super duo. Go from the 11 O I'm coming out of here to the 11 O at the peak of the next netting. Pick up another super duo. Go from the 11 I'm coming out of here to the 11 O at the peak of the next netting, which is the 11 I started up in in this round. Now I'm going to go around all my super doughs and all my 11 O's again to tighten it up. And on this round, I want to, when I get done going around and reinforcing, I want to be coming out of a, and uh, out of a super duo, because I got popped back up to the other hole of my super duo. So I'm going to come out of this super duo. I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to go jump up there into the next hole of my super duo, the hole I've not been through yet. And now I'm going to put a one of my 11 O's between all these. Super duo holes that I hadn't been through yet. And 
And I'm going to sew around this one more time to tighten it up. And I want to be coming out of an 11 oh because I'm going to start my next knitting. So that's what I've got so far. So I'm going to just keep doing that until I get my length that I want. And then I'll be back and we'll put the clasp on. Okay, I've got my length done now. That's what I got. Kind of looks like little windows in there. <laughs> so now I'm going to put my clasp on. And I'm going to do it just like I did that one the other day. I'm going to use 15 O's though this time. If you're doing this and you're using 15 O's, you might want to switch to a size 12 needle. I'm going to stubbornly try to keep using my size 11 needle. <laughs> I just take trying to thread those size 12 needles. They're not that hard to thread. I just make a big deal out of it, I guess. So I'm going to pick up four of my 15 O's and one of my bronze 11 O's. I'm going to go through my wire guardian. Come back down the second channel of my wire guardian and the 11 0. I'm going to pinch my wire guardian so the thread will land in the channel there. I'm going to squish my wire guardian in a little bit very gently. Okay, so I'm, I'm coming out. I should have said where I was coming out. I'm coming out one of my 11 0s. So I picked up four 15 O's and 11 O, went up through the wire guardian and back down through the 11 O. Now I'm going to pick up four more 15 O's. Try to get up here where y'all can see me. So I started out coming out this side of this 11 0. Now I'm going to go over here and go into this side of this 11 0 with my 4 15 0s. That's what I got. Now I'm going to go through this 4 millimeter and I'm going to come out that 11 0. I'm going to pick up four more 15 O's. And I'm going to go back up my 11 O. Back up my wire guardian. Back down my 11 O. I mean my wire guardian. The 11 if you can get it, but I couldn't get it, so I'm just going to come down through the wire guardian and hold on there so your thread will come down in the channel. Now I'm going to go back through my 11 0 that's right under the wire guardian there. Go down one of my one of my sides that has the four millimeters on, I mean the four 15 O's. Now I'm going to go through this 11 0 and through the 4 millimeter. Go <clears throat> into this 11 0. I'm not, I'm going to go up these 4 15 0s. Back up the 11 0 right under the wire guardian. Back up the wire guardian. Back 
down the wire guardian and the 11 know if you can get it but I don't think I can get it so I'm just gonna do the wire guardian hold on to the wire guardian so that the thread will land in that channel now I'm gonna go back down the 11 0 and see this if you forget which which strand of 50 knows you haven't been down yet you can check it's the loosest one because it's only got one thread going through it so I'm gonna go down back down through my 11 0 I don't think I'm, yeah, I'm not through it yet. Back down through my 11 0. And back down through those 15, 15 O's that I hadn't been through twice yet. Now I'm going to go back through this 11 0, this 4 millimeter. So that puts a little, kind of a little triangle in there on my, the end of my project. So I can put my, clasp on here in a minute so now I'm just going to sew through my netting back down through my project and tie a few uh, three half inch knots doesn't matter where just wherever you can wherever you can find a thread bridge I'm gonna go through my super duo there and my 11-0 See if I can find one here. Nope. So I'm <laughs> just go on around some more. I'm gonna pop down the other side of this super dough one. Like I said, that'll expose some thread there, but you're not gonna see it. Nobody's gonna see it when you're wearing your bracelet. It's gonna blend right in with everything there. Now I think I'll do a thread bridge right here. Yeah. Now I'm going to go back up my loop. Pull it down slowly so it lands in between the beads. Mine's wanting to land over top of the beads. You've got to be careful. Okay, now go back through a few more beads. Grab me another thread bridge here. Come through my loop. Guide my knot down. I go through my four millimeter. Through another 11 0. Catch on to another thread bridge here. Go back up through my loop, guide my knot down. That's three, so now I'm just going to go through a few more beads to get away from my last knot. And I'm going to cut off, cut my thread off. So now I'm going to take my stop bead off down here at the beginning and do exactly the same thing. Put my other wire guarding on, and then I'll come back and we'll. We'll put the clasp on. Okay, I got both ends of my uh, wire guardians on here. Now I'm just going to put my clasp on. Just going to take a six millimeter jump ring. Open it up. Thread on my bracelet. one side of my clasp just take my other six millimeter jump ring put on the other end of my bracelet And the other side of my clasp. So I'm 
This is what I've got. Rounds and super duos. Like I said, kind of kind of looks like little windows. <laughs> So let me get some of my beads cleaned up here and I'll be back. Okay, so there it is, all done. A little netted bracelet made with rounds and super duos. It's a not, not a hard stitch. Not hard to do it with two whole beads. Uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate those of you who have watched my videos and subscribed to my channel and liked and commented on my videos. I have a website where I sell my jewelry. It's Teresa's Handmade Jewelry, and I'll put a link to it in the description box below in case you're interested, along with a link to my Facebook and Instagram and my email. If you haven't, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. So until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.